to chain sword through their draw they absolutely smoked their group didn't they the Japanese on the right there and already just in a matter of minutes they've got a stranglehold over this match as well the French right up against it now it's going to fall from the man from Alençon in France Lucas Corvey who was the runner-up at the Scottish Open Grand Prix that I called in November he takes on Kazumasa Sakai of Japan ranked 17th in the world. It's going to be a tough ask for the big Ampar. tall man in French leading the way here. He's 43 in the world. He's on good form though, which uh, bodes well, but uh, he's got it all to do. Tall, rangy athlete, Lucas. But, uh, He's really posted some good results, Lady. He's played 20 matches. He's won 13, only lost seven. And, uh, well, he made the final of the Scottish Open Grand Prix as an outsider, 16th seed. So uh, also semi-finals more recently of the Swiss Open. A couple of quarterfinals as well for the man in red uh, at the Orleans Masters and the European Championships as well. Now, he has to win this match to take the tie further because it's not like the group matches. We're not... in title to play all five as soon as any one team gets to three they win the tie and that stops right there and they Hello. save Black. their energies until the next Black. match can Corvey extend Black. Francais oh, stay right like for you you weren't toss sure. sir Oh, nice little memorabilia for Lucas there from uh, the Japanese opponent. Nice touch. Kazumasa Sakai ranked 17th in the world. Again, as I said, coming into this, uh, very, very unusually, there's no head-to-head -head showing against uh, any of these matches. France against Japan, unusually. So, as I say, 24 years old, the man from Alisson in France. Playing uh, just one spot off of his career high, posting some amazing results this year. It's been a very heady time and a big climb up the ranking list. Nothing quite like winning. It becomes a habit. And uh, there we are. You can see how he's done so far. He's won two, lost one. Went down to Xi Yuqi of China, the world champion. Sorry, the uh, All England open winner pretty sure he was and there is his opponent so two ranking spots off of his career high at 17th in the world 28 year old now what's interesting is he's only played one match that was against Hong Kong and he lost that one in straight games, unusually. Just over half an hour played. He wasn't selected for the other two ties. So he might be a little nervous, Kazumasa Sakai. And uh, trying to soften Lucas Corvey up by giving him a nice little gift uh, after the coin toss. Oh, I'm being silly. But uh, he's 28 years old. He's 5 foot 10. As we say hello to our Chinese umpire, Mr. Su. But... Uh, the Japanese player has played 10 matches this year and the Italian service judge Fabio Beto played 10 matches this year, won five, lost five. Twice runner-up at the uh, Indonesian Masters, he lost to Ginting there and the Indonesian Open as well, lost to Kidambi Shrikanth, that was back in June. He's had a couple of quarter-final showings as well, Sakai in the Hong Kong Open and the Korean Open as well the man on the left of your picture there the other side of the umpire's chair his last title was the Russian Open Grand Prix in 2012 but more poignantly recently he lost in the second round of the Asian champs so he's a little low on confidence the man Sakai and it'll be interesting it's all about the start here against the man that's been doing quite a lot of winning so uh, there is a golf in ranking in favour of the man in grey but he's low on confidence, as I say. He's not done a lot of winning as late, and Corvey has. He's tall, he's rangy, he's quick. What will unfold here? It's a must-win match Ladies for France. And gentlemen, Can they keep right, the tie alive? On my left, France. Represented by Lucas Corvey. 
Cross to serve. Labo. Play. Corvette to get us underway. Finish from Sakai. He really gave that the treatment, didn't he? The 28 year old it was rasping, had chili on it. One. Really was wayward. Perhaps he lost his footing. Drop of sweat maybe from the previous match. Who knows? But the radar was momentarily off here from Corve and not like him. Quite a calm character. Lost to Toby Penty, the Englishman in the final of the Scottish Open Grand Prix at the back end of last year. Both men still probing, you know, feeling each other's oh. games. As I say, they've never played each other before. They might have seen footage digitally. But Corvey with a uh, sparkling start here. Mind you, that said, the doubles duo we just saw as well in Kelsey and now did the same, didn't they? But couldn't sustain. That's what it's all about. Keeping up that high level of tempo. Again, he spills wide with the cross drop. Yeah, so the player just spots a, a couple of drops of perspiration on the court. On comes the lady with the mop. And the umpire wants to get them back on the court pretty hastily. Understandably. Five, two.
Well, there's a nice reassuring calm about Lucas Corvey and the way that he's playing his trade out here on show court two. But there was a nice acceleration there from the top 20 player. Sakai really building that point very securely. Long, grueling rallies, and more often than not, it's been Kazumasa Sake that's uh, wilted. Three. And he's a little bit more errant from the off here. Perhaps he's just slow to start, but again, the radar right off there. Corvey happy to trade blows and wait in the point. He's long, rangy and lithe and moving very, very well from the off there, despite that one just bobbled over his side. A bit unlucky. Sakai staying in touch, but nothing's come that easy to him so far this evening. Looks like he's got a little bit of uh, the hydration salt in that drink. Thank you. That's something isotonic. Who knows? The last thing these players want in warm conditions is to start cramping up, but I'm sure he'll have taken care of that. Despite the great dig and dive full length from Corvey, it's all to no avail in the end. And Sakai just uh, making ground. French coach looking a little anxious. Thank you. He's just looking a little more watertight now, Sake really is a lot more frugal in error, knitting the points together with real solidity. Breaks to the front for the first time in this opener. With a really stealthy close of the net there. Corvey wants the court swept again. Mopped, I should say. He's got a very pensive look, this fella, hasn't he? Almost like he's working things out now. Whatever you can do.
Korve over presses again anxiously. Service over. And again, Sakai oh. draws level. It's a really tight game, this one, that's for sure. Korve with the marginally better start, but Sakai kind of in, you know, in touch, just made a few unforced errors, but now they seem to be eradicated a little. He's moving with a lot more fluency, the man in grey. But that one just went a little bit wide into the sideline. is to just keep ahead as far as the mid-game interval he's got to go chunkable goals just one point at a time here that's a good play and that one spills long over the back line from Sakai and Corvey is doing a good job just keeping his nose in front on the scoreboard, keeping that pressure stifling and containing his far higher ranked opponent. Poor lead from Sakai at Lance Plum on the line. The look says it all. Corvey keeps the lead. 11 8 mid game interval. change of shuttle then as we resume after the mid-game interval here on show court two Japan against France Japan two love up in the match score and France with it all to do Corvey has to win this to extend their stay in Bangkok Deceptive from Corvey there. Well, he faded as though he was going to the right, and they hit the shuttle to the left. Nicely done. Little shimmy of the body. Look at this. Let's see it again. This is really well played. Look, well taken. Super agile from the taller of the two men. Oh, that's gone in as well, courtesy of a little bit of blow from left to right.
Corvey, in typical fashion, breaks to the front, leads for a few points, then Sakai keeps coming back at him, maybe a run of two, but nothing too substantial from the far higher ranked Japanese player, Kazumasa Sakai. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. 14, 9. Play. So it's over. 10, 40. Again, he spills over. wide with the cross net 19, anxiously. A man 10. who hasn't done enough winning of late. That's the look of what's going on here at the moment. And he's starting to overpress. Testament to the solidity of the Frenchman. Now, that one has gone long. And he's left several of these shuttles over. and they've landed in Sakai. And his judgment, the radar slightly off, but that was good. And he's still got plenty of work to do here to try and draw level. He's four points shy. He's playing well above his ranking here. 43rd in the world, takes on top 20 player, 17th in Sakai. Sakai sprays long again over the back line, and Corve edges towards game one with a five point buffer. Closed. Coming over. 13, 18. Right up against it then, Sakai. Well, the Frenchman's board is very best tonight. He Based has over. played immaculate badminton. Fairly errant three throughout. And uh, asked a lot of questions of a far higher rank. Sakai, this would be a heady result if he could get it. Vying for a place in the semi finals, of course. Both teams here. Corvey with seven game points. Sakai yet to get a win in this event. He's 0 1 wins to losses. He 
was hesitant there, Corvey, wasn't he? It's like uh, he changed his mind two or three times and landed right in the corner in the end. Two in a row for Sakai. In. At the sharp end of game one here. Oh, they straining Thank every you. sinew to manipulate the shuttle back into court to no avail. Hesitant again around the back line, perfectly weighted from Sakai. And that's three in a row for him. This might make the Frenchman quite nervous because uh, he squandered several game point opportunities here. But that said, it's almost like Saka has just freed off. Nothing to lose type of thing. Corvey gets there in the end. A little hesitant at the back end of that game, but he takes it 21-17. Back for game two, very shortly. French coach wants more of the same, just trying to G him on Corvey and get more from him. He's played, put together a really good performance so far. Long may it continue. Fancy the French. But the Japanese. It's taking a little bit of a punt in their selection. They could have played Kenta Nishimoto. He's been very dependable. He's three wins, no losses and three spots higher on the ranking list than Sakai, but uh, they've elected to give the opportunity to Sakai to uh, seal the deal here. Now we'll have to make a big change around because this man is playing wonderfully. And, uh, well, there's a lot on his shoulders, frankly, because if he loses this match, the French go home, having lost in the quarterfinals. No semi-final for them. But it's a game away Double. from Play. winning the overall match. Not the tie, but just his match. It's a familiar view, isn't it? A familiar sighting. One, no. Kazumasa Sakai has just been just 
missing far too many unforced shots by his lofty ranking status. That shouldn't be happening. Perhaps it's the fact that he's maybe underexposed and only played one match. That's better. Needs to get the wheels on quickly in this second game. Well done with the wrong foot there. Stamping his authority on that point, Lucas Corvey. Well, he's been the nearly, nearly man tonight, hasn't he? Just so close, engineering the point nicely for the kill, but not quite managing to get it away. That said, there's been no looks of resignation or... Poor body language, he's really conducted himself with uh, good attitude and application throughout, has Sakai. from the Frenchman. Over. Oh, six. Did well here, great uh, backhand smash kill, but it was all the good work that he'd done prior that set it up. Sakai like trying desperately to get on top in this game, but he's got his work cut out because Corvey has been just that little bit more flatlining and steady through his performance.
Keeps the pressure on Sakai, does Corvey with another very solid point. Manipulating the shuttle nicely round, tight to the lines without being too risky. Played a wonderful match. And more importantly, it's that scoreboard pressure. He's not allowed his opponent any wriggle room. Well done. Seven is over. Five, seven. Hands down from the Lions judge, indicating that it was in. Corvey extending his lead. Eight, it's meager, five. but that's what he wants to do. He just, you know, he, he'll take a win any which way he can to keep his nation on court, fighting with a chance here. Oh. It was always going to be a tough Seven ask over. coming into this tie. Japan Six. having been so Eight. merciless in their onslaught throughout the group. C. Oh. Another good leave. So they over. Nine. Who's the top 20 player here? You've got to pinch yourself, haven't you? Corvey is having a terrific day. Really playing well. To the mid-game interval, he leads with a cushion of five points. 11-6. Just over half an hour played now. Well, the stage has been set for multiple high-profile clashes across the week, and there's uh, three courts abundant with top men's Thomas Cup action right now. Denmark career on court one, court three hosts Indonesia against Malaysia. Over. Seven, eleven. The whole venue full of intrigue and upsets. Eight, 
11. Well, he needs some sort of divine inspiration from somewhere. Maybe that can ignite him. Two in a row for Saka. done got the short lift here after that body jammer Done really well here to reduce the deficit. Very, very well. There's again, getting quite tense now because uh, this man's uh, raised the bar a little. He needed to, didn't he? But he's played a lot better of late. done staying in touch keeping a an ominous presence the top 20 player he's not done yet he's been fighting throughout Corvey continuing to do what he's done so well throughout the match and just keep ahead, keep that scoreboard pressure on Sakai. Doing a really good job in that regard. Oh, 
Another good point from Corvey, and that could be telling. So disciplined with his choices tonight. He's done well, A, in staying with his higher ranked opponent, but B, leading all the way. Can he get across the finish line? One thing's for sure Sakai's going to raise the bar right now physically. He's got to up the ante close the court down quickly and there's got to be a real utmost urgency in his movement as there was there 13 16 A run of three for this man. His energy is buoyed by that, I'm sure. That is so timely from the Frenchman. Brushes that cross smash with real authority does well there to fend that off gets behind this and unleashes the fury that was a big moment in the overall context of this tie and he just lost his footing there and uh, Sakai quick to pounce as he has done through this passage of play indeed he's won four of the last five points now He has to surge and he knows it. And he's come to the party suddenly. Thank you. One coach full of energy, another looks like he needs a nap. The man that he lost to last was Lee Chuk Yu, Yi, Yu, I should say, 37th rank from Hong Kong. That's just gone wide. Corvey has a cushion again of two points. 18, 16. Corvey, he knows he's close now. Can he get across the line here and keep the French's uh, campaign alive for the semi finals?
No, he got a little lucky there, Japanese player. But he was insistent, you have to give him that. And it's not done yet. Flight path was tricky for Corvey there, testament to the uh, net cord. Service fault called at that stage, he won't be enjoying that. So that in itself brings up three match points for Lucas Corvey. He wants to challenge. He got a good look at that. He think it might have kissed the edge of the line. And if he does, he keeps the French quest for the semi-finals alive if this finds the line. No, it doesn't. <laughs> the suspense of it. One challenge remaining. There it is. Generous support for Lucas Corvey from his French fans and teammates. And he's safely through, and we will be treated to a fourth match here within this tie. He's delighted. A smile breaks across his face. That was a good evening at the office. 21-17, 21-19. He's safely through in straight games. Well played, sir. So it's going to come down to Tom Kikel and Ronan Labar. And they take on Hiroki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. That'll be up next. Don't go too far.